Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today I wanna to show you how you can record your computer screen using an app that many people have, Microsoft PowerPoint. Yes, believe it or not, you can record your computer screen using PowerPoint. I really found it hard to believe. I just recently found out about this and it's actually a pretty decent screen recorder. Now, as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. My HR department requires me to say that. All right, well, why don't we jump on the PC and I'll show you how you can do this. So here I am on my desktop and I have Microsoft PowerPoint installed that comes with Microsoft 365. This is the latest and greatest version of PowerPoint. Even if you're using an older version of PowerPoint, the ability to screen record has been around for a little while, so you should be able to follow along even if you're using an older version. So to screen record in PowerPoint, what I've done is I've simply opened PowerPoint and I'm gonna jump into a blank presentation. So nothing fancy, no special themes. We're just gonna jump into a blank presentation here. So here I am in PowerPoint. How do I screen record? Well, to screen record, what we wanna do is we wanna insert a screen recording. And what we're gonna do then is across the top here, you have all these pivots. We're gonna click on the pivot that says insert. So I'll go ahead and click on that. You have all these options within insert. And what we wanna do is we're interested in screen recording. And so over here on the far right hand side, there's an option called screen recording. Believe it or not, you can screen record in PowerPoint. Now with the screen recording, it'll capture anything on your screen, whether you wanna show an application, whether you wanna show a web browser, even if you wanna record a game, it'll capture all of that. Now the one note is if you are, uh, say recording a game, uh, this probably isn't the best screen recorder for that. In the description, I have a link to OBS and, and that's another more powerful screen recorder. However, the screen recorder that comes in PowerPoint can get the job done. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna click on screen recording. And what this does now is it brings up this dialogue here where you have a few different options. You could click on record. Uh, you can also stop the recording. Over here, you could select the area that you want to record. Uh, so here I could select an area of my screen that I'm gonna record. Alternatively, if I wanna record my entire screen, I could simply select the entire screen and that'll let me just record everything so I don't have to select a specific area. I could also toggle the audio on and off as I do a recording and then I could also capture the pointer or I don't need to capture the pointer, so either way. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is let me actually just select a, an area of my screen here that I wanna record. So I'm gonna select uh, this area over here. And now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the record button. And so now what it's gonna do is I get this nice little countdown and it's gonna tell me to press the Windows key, the Shift key, and the Q key at the same time. So Windows, Shift, Q to stop the recording. Alternatively, I could also hover over the top middle area and that'll bring up the controls where I could hit stop. However, if you're doing a recording, you probably don't want this little control to appear. You want a nice clean recording. Uh, so the shortcut key helps you there. One thing you could also do is if you prefer to keep this up here, I could click on this pin button and the little control, the controls up here will stay up throughout my recording. So I'm gonna go ahead, let me unpin that. I'm gonna hide it. And so here I am on my desktop. now. What do I want to record? Well, what I wanna do is I'm gonna launch an app called the Office app. Now I mentioned earlier that I work at Microsoft and so you know, since I'm doing a screen recording here, I wanna plug the app that I work on. Uh, and so with Windows 10, if you're running Windows 10, there's an app that comes with Windows 10 called the Office app. You could search for Office uh, or you could go to the Start menu and launch it. Uh, but once you launch the Office app, what that will do is that'll launch an app that looks like this. And with the Office app, what you could do is you could use Word, Excel, PowerPoint entirely for free using this app. So here I am, I'll click on Word. Here I get to Word. Uh, if I click on Excel, I could use Excel. And here I could click on PowerPoint. And here I could use PowerPoint. Um, here I could create a blank presentation. I could jump into a theme or template. Now this is leveraging uh, web PowerPoint. Uh, when you use this app. So just a nice little app that you have. And I'm gonna go ahead and close it now. I just wanna do a quick uh, plug for that. Uh, now I'm gonna close it and I'm gonna press uh, Windows Shift Q to stop my recording. Okay, so that has stopped my recording and it brings me back into PowerPoint. I'm gonna go ahead and just expand the window so you get the full view here. 
Now within PowerPoint, you'll see now on my slide, it's inserted the screen recording. So here I have my screen recording. I could even expand it if I wanted to take up the full slide. And here I could kind of center it on the slide. And so I'm gonna go ahead and click the play button. Press the Windows key, the Shift key, and the Q key at the same time. And here I, I can skip on. forward. So here I am, I'll click on Word. Here I get to Word. Uh, if I click on Okay, so it, it gets the job done. It's it's your good basic screen recorder. It captured everything I'm doing. It captures my cursor as I'm kind of going throughout the experience. So this is my screen capture right now. And one of the neat things that you could do is within PowerPoint, uh, here I'm on the video format pivot. So it just defaults to that when I insert it. Now what I could do is I could apply different corrections to the video. So say I wanna make it brighter or if I wanna make it darker. I could also adjust the color. I could also do color variations. They have something called the poster frame. And what the poster frame is, is I'll click on that. So what I could do is I could associate a photo with this video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and choose a stock image for this video. And let's just go with horses riding on a beach because there's nothing better that represents my recording than horses on a beach. But so what that'll do is until you click the play button, it'll show this poster image. So once I click press play, the that poster image will disappear. So the poster image is supposed to represent what the video is about. Now what I could also do is I could reset the design if I don't like some of the changes that I made. Here I could apply different uh, styles. Uh, so here, you know, I could add borders. Um, I could adjust the, the video file, kind of how I see fit. And that'll actually hold throughout the screen, uh, throughout the playback of the video. The so here I play back, you notice those effects hold. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo that. One of the things too that you'll notice that I could do here, if I click on the video, you could apply different shapes. So let's say I wanna play back my video as a triangle. I have the option to do that. I could apply borders. I could also apply shadows, reflections. All of these different effects also apply to video files. One thing that's really neat that you can also do, let's say that I included a section of my screen. So here I have this little app kind of sticking out on the corner. What I could do is I'll click on crop and what I could do is I could crop the video. So here I'm gonna go over and say, hey, actually I just wanna include that section of the video. And so there, just like that, I could easily crop uh, the video. What I wanna do now is I'm gonna go up to the ribbon and I'm gonna click on playback. Now I have a whole bunch of different controls where I could change the playback of the video. So here I could simply play the video. You can also add a bookmark to your video. So here if I jump here, maybe yet, you know, when I start showing the Office app here around, let's say, you know, right here around 55 seconds or so is right before I launch it, I could add a bookmark. And so it adds this mark in the playback. So let's say I wanna jump to a specific section of my video quickly, I can go ahead and do that. I could also trim the video. So here, let's say, you know, I, I kind of go on a little bit too long at the beginning, I could trim that. And maybe at the end, I go on a little too long. Um, and so I could trim that as well. So I could set the start and end time and then click on OK. And that's now trimmed my video. I could also have it fade in, fade out. I could adjust the volume level. I think the volume is probably fine. I have it set to high. And then you have some other options where, you know, if you click play the video, it'll go full screen. I could hide while not playing. I could loop until stopped. Let's say you want to have a, you know, a screen and say an office and uh, you just want the video to play again and again. You have the option of doing that. Um, and then you can also rewind to the beginning after playing. Uh, and lastly, you also have the ability to insert captions. So those are some of the controls you have over the playback of the video. Now what you could do is when you save the video, what I can do is I'll go to file. Now I could just save this as a PowerPoint presentation and I have the screen recording within the PowerPoint presentation. You know, that's one thing I could do. But what I can also do is I could also export this as an MP4 video. So here I'm gonna go to export. So let's say for example, you wanna upload this to YouTube. Uh, what you could do is I'll create a video. So I'm gonna go ahead, click on create a video here. Uh, just in case you're curious, you could all do, also do things like create an animated GIF. So some kind of neat functionality that you have here under the export option. I'm gonna go ahead uh, and then click on create a video. And for now, I'm just gonna do 1080p, but you can even do ultra 4K. So that's the best quality. I typically recommend that if say you're gonna upload a screen recording to YouTube, just go in the best possible quality. Uh, but just for speed, I'm gonna go with 1080p. And what I could do now, I'm gonna leave the other settings as they are, and I'm gonna go ahead and create the video. I'm gonna have to choose a location where I wanna save it. I'm just gonna put it on my desktop. You could either save as an MP4 or a Windows Media Video. MP4 is probably going to give you the most ability to save it at different places, say if you wanna put it on YouTube, so I'd recommend going with that. And here we could just call it Sample Recording, and I'm gonna go ahead and save it. And what PowerPoint's gonna do, uh, you're gonna see down here that now it's creating a video, and this will take a little bit of time to create. 
Okay, the file finished rendering, and I'm gonna go ahead now and minimize PowerPoint because I said I wanted the file to be exported to my desktop, and here you'll see, you'll see a file called sample recording. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that, and let's see how the screen recording turned out. Alternatively, I could also hover over the, and there's an app, Office app entirely for free using this app. So here I am, I'll click on Word. So there you see the screen recording works pretty well, gets the job done. But yeah, that's the screen recorder that comes as part of PowerPoint. All right, well, that was just a quick look at how to use Microsoft PowerPoint as a screen recorder. Believe it or not, PowerPoint does have a screen recorder and it's pretty functional, it works pretty well. It's especially good if you're recording desktop apps, if you wanna record games or things like that with you know high graphic card needs, I'd recommend using a more powerful screen recorder. Once again, in the description, I have a link to OBS, which will serve your needs a lot better if that's the type of recording you're doing. Anyway, if PowerPoint helped you record your computer screen and you were able to insert a video into either your PowerPoint or export it as an MP4, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, hit that subscribe button, that way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if you have any other ideas or any other topics you want to see me cover in the future, leave a comment down below. I read them all and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. All right, well, that's all I had for you today. I hope you enjoyed and hope to see you next time. Bye.